Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can bulk upload invoices and receipts uh, from your computer directly into your receipt bank account rather than using the app or the email in service. So uh, an example of this might be where we have scanned in a load of purchase invoices. So here, for example, I'll just give you a rough idea. If this was a purchase invoice, might have some references on it, such as invoice one, some description of the service, the amount, and the date. Um, and if we just close that, it's the same for all the other PDFs here. We just butch them on one number. So invoice two, product one, 200 pounds, same date. And you might do this for any number of invoices or any number of reasons. Um, typically in bookkeeping, we have bags of receipts still sent to us. And so what we would do is put them through a scanner, get them into a PDF, and then drag these PDFs directly into our receipt bank account for conversion. So to do this, uh, we log into your receipt bank account. We click on add items and we click on the top menu, add items again. We're not doing bank statements, just receipts and purchase invoices. And then we choose upload the receipts and functions option here. Once here, we just need to remember to choose a particular type of upload. So in our example, we've got one receipt per PDF. So the current selection of single item files is correct. If we have multiple receipts per PDF, then we will choose this option here. Um, in this instance, I'm just going to put it back to single items. We then choose this button. Go and find our files on our desktop. Highlight them all. It's not limited to just four, so you could do 100, 200, 1000. Click open. And hopefully you just saw that all four invoices have now just been uploaded to Receipt Bank. So if we go back to our inbox now, and we go to the in processing tab, you will hopefully see uh, a number of your invoices being uploaded. So if we just click on one of these, for example, this one, there we go. That's uh, invoice one for hundred pounds dated the 1st of Jan, 2019. And those are just staying the in processing tab for what looks like about an hour. And they'll then appear in the inbox ready for review. So it'll hopefully have extracted a supplier name, the date of the transaction, net back gross, bit of a description, hopefully. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully that's helped guys. Uh, please feel free to get in touch uh, if you've got any questions.